Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to my Easy Human Anatomy channel. Today I like to discuss about heart pellet. Heart pellet is thin horizontal bone ink plate of the skull located in the roof of the mouth. Formation, the palatine process of the maxilla and horizontal plates of palatine bone. This is one palatine process of the maxilla. This is another palatine process of the maxilla. This are the horizontal plates of the palatine bones and this uh, bones are united. This is the intermaxillary suture. This is incisive fossa. This is heart plate. Uh, this is a nasal cavity. This is oral cavity. This is nasal surface. This is oral surface. The histological features of the nasal surface and oral surface is little bit different. The function is mainly feeding and speech. Uh, now the histology of the nasal surface of the heart plate. It is lined by the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium and sometimes it contains intraepithelial glands. The subepithelial connective tissue contains glands, blood vessels and lymph vessels. The epithelium and subepithelial connective tissue are collectively known as the mucopediosteum which firmly attaches the bony self of the palate. The histology of the oral part of the heart pellet is again divided into two parts, the anterior fatty part and posterior glandular part. This is the oral part of the heart pellet. This portion is fatty zone, this is glandular zone, and this is incisive papilla. It's covered the incisive fossa. Uh, this is the histological picture of the oral part of the in heart pellet, this is epithelium. Uh, usually, this epithelium is uh, characterized stratified squamous epithelium. In some place, it is pericarditinous. This is loose connective tissue or lamina propria. Uh, but uh, it contains more collagen fiber and densely arranged. And here, the junction, this is the fatty zone of the oral part of the heart pellet. This is the glandular zone of the oral part of the heart pellet. Uh, oral uh, part of the heart pellet is covered by the masticatory mucosa and it is specialized mucosa of the oral cavity. It is found in gums and the heart pellet. Here the uh, lining, uh, different, different layers of the skin, stratum basalis, spinosum, granulosum, stratum lucidium, stratum cornisum corneum and this stratum lucidum is absent in the, um, epithelium of the heart pellet. This is a uh, uh, keratinous epithelium, this is pericarditinous uh, epithelium. Uh, here uh, the stratum lucidum is absent and uh, here unlike the uh, keratinous epithelium, this surface uh, layer contains nucleated cell and uh, it's uh, uh, rich in uh, heterochromatin mm, and uh, the staining capacity of the cell in the superficial layer is less because it is less eosinophilic but this portion this is uh, more eosinophilic. The rated diseases are present in the epithelium. They are deep invasionization of the epithelium with sub-epithelial connective tissue. Lamina propria is formed by the connective tissue containing dense collagen fiber, blood vessels, and snap. Heart plate also contains large deposit of the uh, adipose tissue at its anterior part and mucous gland at its posterior part. Deep to the lamina propria contains reticular fiber, rich, dense connective tissue, which firmly binds the palatine mucosa to the periosteum. This is the cross sections of the heart pellet. This is um, nasal surface, this is oral surface. So the lining epithelium of the nasal surface is pseudostatified ciliated column epithelium. And under the epithelium, there is a connective tissue layer, separate epithelial connective tissue. And occasionally it contains some glands and blood vessels. And uh, it's, uh, this uh, um, mucus is firmly attached with the uh, periosteum of the bones. This is the bones of the heart pellet and uh, this is the 
oral portions of the heart plate. This is lining epithelium, pericardial stratified squamous epithelium. Uh, this is uh, lamina propria, loose connective tissue, contain gland because it is uh, the cross sections of the glandular part of the heart plate. And this is the uh, dense connective tissue um, which uh, contain reticular uh, fiber, more reticular fiber, and they tightly bind um, with the peristium of the bones of the heart pellet. So this is all about uh, heart pellet. If you like this video, please press the like button and please subscribe my channel. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to my Easy Human Anatomy channel. Today I like to discuss about heart pellet. Heart pellet is a thin horizontal bone being plate of the skull located in the roof of the mouth. Uh, 